What's going on everyone? The word says that Abram was blessed to be a blessing. God blessed Abraham to be a blessing. And it's the same way in our own lives. Blessing comes from the father in heaven and he transmits blessing in the earth through families. The family unit is the tool that is used to transmit blessing into the earth. So parents, are supposed to model blessing just like God blessed us in the beginning. It says in Genesis 1, then God blessed us and said, be fruitful and multiply. He empowered us to prosper. To bless means to empower, to prosper. So I put together this resource, this tool called the 30 day blessing challenge to encourage parents and admonish us in these challenging times where some of us have been you know, really constrained and been with our kids for quite amount of time. We have three children and, you know, some of you might have more and the age ranges are, they vary. But as you watch this, you might have kids, you might have grandkids, nieces, nephews, even just kids that are in your neighborhood that are around you. I want to encourage you with this tool to be able to bless. This book is for parents and guardians that have been entrusted with raising the future leaders of today up. And this gives you a nice, uh, compact prayer it can be rendered in a minute or two probably like good one to five minutes every day and look at use it as a bookend use it at the beginning of the day use it at the end of the day even if your kid's not there there's a prayer that you could pray for their room you know sometimes their room is a chaos in a war zone you walk in there you speak this blessing over it pray over the area where they sleep but just change the atmosphere through positive words they were trying to do a study years ago to figure out what was the difference between a high performing student of the jewish heritage and they were outperforming their peers and the only thing that they found different than them and their colleagues was that one day a week at one meal during Shabbat, their father would speak a blessing over them. He would speak a blessing over their family and that happened, imagine, perpetually for 18 years you keep hearing as early as you can remember, you know, you are blessed and because you are and your, your parents are in covenant with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are going to grow up and be successful in whatever you put your hands to. And one day God's gonna bless you with a great righteous um, wife, or God's gonna bless you with a great righteous husband, and they're gonna be prosperous and successful, and you're gonna have lots of children, and everything your children touch is gonna be gold because God is with them, and because your pa parents and your family is in covenant with the true and living God. How much more in the new covenant, the renewed covenant that the Bible says in Jeremiah 30, one, I believe, or so, that God says that he renewed his covenant with us. He gave us a new covenant. How much more that under Christ Jesus does he want to bless us and use us as lights and lamps to our community? So the 30-Day Blessing Challenge is a tool. It's a resource, easy to read. Uh, let me give you one of them. Calling to the Lord. Call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things that you know not of. Jeremiah 33, 3. And then you say your child's first name. So I'd say one of my kids, Zara, today I declare that you call out to the father and he is answering you today. Your father is also showing and telling you great and hidden things that you have never known before. He is showing you great things in all areas because he loves you, Zara, and is concerned with seeing you succeed today. Today you are calling out to the Lord without shame, apprehension, or embarrassment because today you are growing in your trust in your heavenly father in Jesus name. Simple, see how easy that was? So you wanna get a hold of this book, go to ceofdestiny.com, get it for yourself, get it as a gift for others, sow it into your parenting groups, sow it into your uh, community groups, your small groups, discipleship groups. Um, you might be a person who just works in a school or you might work in a business and you see people who are having problems with their children, give them this as a, counter narrative instead of saying why are you wearing those clothes or why are you listening to that music or why blah 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 don't do a drive-by communication do something that is connecting and try the 30-day blessing challenge i've heard tremendous testimonies from those that have embarked upon the journey some made it all the way through but some even got part way through and they were super excited about the things they were seeing get it today on ceoofdestiny.com